We're at that time of year again. It's not perfect for me in a lot of ways. I don't care for any temperature where I have to wear any more than what I'm wearing right now. Leaves are turning. We even had a couple of snowflakes a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago. But what is exciting is our annual, and I don't know how many years it's been, lots and lots of years, but unfortunately I didn't keep track of it, the annual Thanksgiving Day auction. October 13th is the day. Uh, we started, we opened at 9 o'clock in the morning, the sale will start at 10. That's on the holiday Monday, so if you're supposed to work that day, uh, book it off. The viewing is on the Friday the 10th from 4 until 8 o'clock. The place is Ward's Auctions. 11802 145th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. The office number 780-451-4549. The website is wardsauctions.com. Hopefully you'll see it on a link below on the YouTube video. We can't show you everything. There's way too much to show you. It's a fantastic sale. It's our annual kind of fun, let's have a little less miscellaneous, if you will. Not everything's antique by a, by a long shot. There's a lot of what a newer product. This cabinet is not an antique. It's an antique style in your French style at, uh, furniture. Very high quality, but not antique. And then of course there's antique pieces inside, including Japanese porcelains, uh, Dalton Lambeth, Moorcroft. The list is gonna go on and on, so we can't list everything. Look at the size of this soapstone carving. Antique barometers, etchings up here, paintings. This cabinet we saw once before, this time we're, it's going away. George and the dragon is, is the dragon is getting slain on here. Two sections, matching sections. Macy, one, two, three, four, five section oak stackers, original finish. Nouveau influence carved wardrobe. This one does come apart, top, middle, bottom, so you can get it in and out of your house. There's the other stacker. In, in the corner here, there's a geode down here. Look at the size of this mirror. We won't show you this cabinet. This cabinet actually matches other pieces in the building, but you'll be able to tell by your catalog. Um, antique in here in the walnut uh, marble top chest. This desk, you, you have to take a look at this desk. There's some verbiage that comes along with it the consigner had. Um, it says in here, with similarities to a desk in the Charles Dickens Museum. And the, the picture on there looks identical. It's a flip top here to storage. Fit it inside, pigeonhole. It does lock, we don't have the keys for it. All the, the drawers back here. Now we've only sort of pieced it together for the viewing because it does come up into quite a few pieces and you would want to screw it together when you get it into your home so you'd have a little bit better fit and finish. But this, these little side pieces here, you get the key, get a locksmith to hook you up there, you lock that and then you actually can't open the drawers. So that's kind of fun too. Leather tops here, the galley back here, these Nouveau against Influence por uh, por um, pewter galley with a glass liner and the, in the uh, multi-branch candle holders. Those, those are really neat. Here's a sweet ass cabinet, if I do say so myself, with the carvings and all over the place, and I didn't name it that, I just, uh, I just, I just report the news. Vintage pieces in, in, in mirrors and modern pieces as well, you're going to see all sorts of stuff in, this, in the sale. Off camera down here you've got a, uh, an empire style sofa, original artworks, some newer, some older, some expensive, some cheaper, but definitely a bit of everything, oriental pieces, European pieces, antique barley twist, armchair, Sheraton style, lots of inlay, Sheraton style cabinet here, sconces, more lightning rod, I think there's a three, two or three lightning rod weather vanes in the building, original artworks, uh, really kind of interesting bubble motif, motif fountain all of a sudden, I think we got a little uh, soap in that one there, antique Japanese cloisonne in the, in the candlestick base, center pedestal table here with, with chairs, not necessarily antique, but an antique style. This is a nice games table. This is vintage mahogany. You give it a half a twist, a quarter of a twist, you fold over, and you've got your game surface, and it all folds out like so. These chairs are, again, they're going to match. There's six here, and there's six going with the table and chairs over there. So if you want 12, you can get 12. You don't have to take 12. So we separated it up. Some more pieces in here that will be off camera you can't see. This one here is particularly nice in that the little rocker has both stirrups on it still. So that's a great little piece for display. Now you're not going to let your kids play with it anymore um, unless you're a really good parent. This is a more modern piece again in the oriental style cabinet. Very, very well put together though. Some pieces here that we can't really see. This is a, a Baker Furniture Company piece. Absolutely solid quality um, in, the, in the tea trolley, or not trolley, 
but serving tray and bamboo style base, very high quality stuff. Victorian, original finish, settee, fully supported or fully framed cameo on the back, really, really nice. Then all original finish on the wood, which is favorite for me. I like to see original finish. One of three etagers, Victorian rosewood or, or mahogany etagers, I think two are or rosewood. Absolutely wonderful. Curved glass, two, two, two curved glass doors, both intact. Let's try to keep them that way. Antique Dalton pieces, trench art, jade. The list goes on and on there. These are hand painted porcelain tiles. There's a couple of still lifes here, and there's also, I think, some, some two or three other ones in the building. We won't necessarily see it all on camera, obviously, today. Art glass, marquetry desk. This is excellent quality, not necessarily antique. Very, very good quality. Antique ewers, marquetry clock up there. Kind of a neat pedestal book, book stand. It's an antique with a replaced top. Interesting. You just use it for book display if you want. Terrific pieces in this cabinet. Let me just open that up for you so we can have a look. The tea set is sterling. This, the tray is a silver plate, but there's a four piece ter sterling set up top here. Terrific antique fish bowl. Take a look at the inside there. All the markings, photographs, pictures, and so on are on the website, wardsauctions.com, so you can have a good look at that one. Do not discount this one. Came out of an estate a while back, not far from here. I won't show you these ones back here. They get a bit fussy. This one's kind of fun. So you, the point is we want you to come to the viewing. We can't show you everything. This is for, for ribbons or lace, and you can open it up both ways so you can get it both sides. It's marked right on here, the, the System Lace Cabinet Company. Very interesting piece here. Oriental stools, some newer, some older, of course. Some more stuff off camera, mission style rocker. Here's something that we don't see near enough. An absolutely wonderful music box. Oh, we even got to see, I hope that was on camera, where it re-engaged into a new song. So there's multiple songs on one drum. And that's the first time I got to see it actually change into a new song. So that was kind of interesting. We don't see these very often. And one partial crank that you saw me operate on that makes it work for quite a long time. It's a very impressive mechanism. This is, a, it's sitting on top of a inlaid antique fold over, you rotate it and fold over table. It needs a little bit of TLC, but personally, I don't mind. It's old. When I'm that old, if I'm in that good of shape, I'll be pretty happy. So I would leave it the way it is. Other people might want to fix it up a bit. Again, not antique, not brand new, very high-end furniture. We have it as two different lots, uh, 85, 86. So you don't have to buy the table and the cabinet. There's a leaf inside here. Very, very high quality stuff. You can't discount it. The house that this came out of, everything they have is high-end. This is a modern, it's a quartz movement, but a, a, but a modern quality clock and garniture set. Uh, still available on the market today. I forget what it retails for, but it's a pretty substantial uh, price tag. There's some artworks and watercolors and etchings. Marla Wilson back here. Uh, I believe this is a European artwork. No, this is actually a Canadian art, uh, watercolor too, antique watercolor, very nice. So you're gonna wanna pay close attention to that. This furniture here, if I'm not mistaken, they said it was $3,000 per piece. Sofa, love seat, chair. And I believe it all day long. This stuff is absolute quality all day long. There's also a big ottoman that goes along with it. And it's virtually unused. I mean, they, they bought it, they had it, obviously they moved or something happened to, to change their approach. These lamps, you gotta come to the viewing just to feel how heavy these lamps are. When I, where I come from, heavy is quality. Another etagere. Remember I said there's three in the sale. I mean, you might go a whole year sometimes waiting for one, and then we have three. And then sprucing it up, we've got these gorgeous Sevs uh, lidded pots. There's two of them. There's a couple of Dalton pieces again, antique Dalton Lambeth. And again, a lot of them in pairs. It's, it's great when you see pairs of stuff instead of, you know, one got broken. Happens all the time, but you know, some, down the road something else is going to get broken too. Uh, most of the carpets we haven't hung yet. Unfortunately, we're a day early shooting the video, but it just had to get done. So we have some hanging. Some brand new pieces, some antique pieces, some expensive pieces, whatever. There's some neat stuff off camera you can't see here. This is quality as well. Absolute quality all day long. Modern. 
fully fitted interior, you don't get a better piece than this. People say they, when they're talking about furniture, they say, oh, they don't build it like they used to. They do. They, this is a perfect example. You have to pay for it, though. You're not going to find this at your, you know, your box store, department store. You're, you have to go to high-end furniture retailers to get pieces like that. So they, are, they do still exist. In the cabinet, first of many cabinets, Beswick and Dalton horses, including a Mountie and a, an Indian horse there. We've got the Royal Canadian mounted bus here. I have a set of those myself in the office. There's birds. I'm not sure which ones are Beswick, which ones are Dalton, etc. as we go along. There's carved ivories in the form of, of anything that's by itself. When you see one item by itself, chances are it's going to be an ivory one. You can have a look in the catalog. Other ones might be bone or other natural stones, and you might put two or three together. There's, there's uh, snuff bottles. There is uh, there's a, a, a piece for your writing set there. There's more snuff bottles here. There's a little, this one here, this is a family show, so I can't show you the bottom of that one. You have to come and view that one for yourself. But um, apparently, um, I don't know if it's a self-portrait or not, but we'll find out. No, we won't find out. So, um, remember it's Thanksgiving Monday. So if you don't have that day off, again, you're gonna have to deal with that. You have to get it off. We also do have the online bidding. Go to the website, wardsauctions.com, and you can get all the details. If you need to um, phone the office, don't be afraid to phone, 451-4549. And this cabinet here, I won't mention all of it, but this Huschenruther bird, which is a limited edition, lot 332, check it on the catalog. Um, I'm told they paid $12,000 for it some years back, and I, I believe it all day long. More pieces of porcelain here, more modern pieces. Antique bronze here, a Ladro gondola. It's got to be, I don't know, 30 inches long. Yeah, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. And a more Huschenruder or that style of porcelain. Dalton Lambeth in here. Uh, this copper pot we had once before. The fellow that bought it was in a uh, regular customer. He's since passed, unfortunately. And now we're, we've been selling his estate. Two bottles of Armanac, a 1900 and a 1914. I mean, they've never been open. I, I, I guess we, we, we celebrate after the auction. We'll open those up after somebody buys them. The Hummel figures that are this big. In front of me right now, I'm going to guess it's my favorite thing in the auction. A lot of favorite things. This is a 2002 Harley Davidson, Harley -Davidson Fat Boy. 12,000 miles or 13,000 miles only. A uh, few accessories with it that are not on it in the form of saddlebags and <clears throat> another windshield, I believe, and so on. But on it, you've got all kinds of chrome and the other and the windshield, chrome toolboxes on this side, you can't see it. It, it rides like a dream. It's, it's as good as it looks. So absolutely, you need to come and have a look at that one there. More antique pieces in the form of rockers and so on. This particular set here is set up. This is a... Uh, antique carved, carved ivory chess set with all the pieces and the original box that it goes in and I'm not sure that you win a prize you can even find signatures on the pieces you're not gonna win a prize for telling me what the final display is right here depicting there is no it's a famous chess game ending sitting right in front of you um, you're not gonna win a prize for guessing it but you are going to win my admiration and that's a very, very valuable thing to have, according to me. Over here, interesting pieces. This has got a Nouveau influence. This is about, about a seven foot mission, arts and crafts or mission style settee in beautiful condition. Take a look at the base on this loo table. I think it's the, probably the most substantial one I've ever seen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Victorian original finish on that one. Burled walnut match grain top. Look at how easily it operates. It just unlocked like, like butter, and absolutely a fantastic piece. And I don't think I've seen one quite that substantial <clears throat> recently, if ever, to be honest with you. In front of me now is absolutely wonderful. This is all original untouched gilding on here. <clears throat> Mid-Victorian French clock, French movement. All the details are on the website. Lots of information. The fellow that owned it would love to research his clock. So there's a lot of paperwork that comes along with it. You'll be able to see when you come to the sale. We're going to ask you not to touch it when you come here. The back is off. You can see the movement. Come and have a look at it. You can get up close. All original. The dome does exist. You've seen it on the website. The dome for this base exists. 
we're keeping that separate so that nobody you know breaks it and plus so that you can get up close and see it it's got a, a painting for the name of the london retailer but it is a french clock and look at the cabinet it's sitting on half vitrine and half storage all inlaid freestanding you can't see back here but you you will be able to on the viewing freestanding you can put it anywhere in the room because it's all inlaid on this side too so modern furniture off camera over here high quality stuff You've got a Majolica pedestal, there's hand painted panels over there, paintings here. This is a, uh, a modern piece as well, it does illuminate, we don't have it plugged in right now. All very high quality oriental style, bas relief on here. Have a, have, you know, again, have, come and have a good look at that one. Another French gilt porcelain clock with Sevres panels. Antique porcelain lidded pots here. Even this cup and saucer, it doesn't get any better than that if you're a cup and saucer person. Different panels on there, and you, you'll be allowed to come and touch it. And the enameling on there is really quite substantial. Uh, another section, uh, five section stacker, this one with the leaded top panel. This is all sterling in here, some of it's Burke sterling. A couple of Burke's ring, bo ring boxes, shell plates, I'm not sure which are Burke's and which are not. But there's a bit of everything, and I believe there's even a Tiffany piece, if I'm not mistaken. That big tray, I think, is the is the um, is the Sterling one. Inside here, these are oh, this is a complete set, and these are Rembrandt tokens, and they are all Sterling, and the the set is complete. So you don't have to go and hunt anything down, and it's got the original box to go along with it. Again, the the smalls in the sale. Uh, we're in the back room here now. The small tables, there's no tray lots. It's none of that, it's not that kind of a sale, right? There's, there's, a, there's some grouping lots, but there's no tray lots per se. In the jewelry cabinet, there's modern and there's antique. We've got good heavy chains. We've got lots of pairs of earrings, wa watch holder. Those are always fun. Solitaire rings, more chains. Look at how clean everything is. More earrings, lapis. This is a Burks one. It's never been, it's, I mean, it's never been worn. There's Burke's bracelet with the original pouch and box and so on. Vintage, vintage uh, um, brooch there. Three, four bar bracelet with the 9K lo uh, lock style catch on it. Again, more solitaires, more, more colored stones, etc., etc. I can't show you all of it. I can show you this piece by Larry, custom made Larry. It is a dragonfly. You'll be able to see the appraisal. It's lot 331. The appraisal is probably a picture of it on the website. It's about $17,500. It's absolutely stunning. It doesn't get any better than that. Look at the size of it on my hand. It's absolutely wonderful. I can't show you all of it. There's too much stuff inside there. Again, we can't show you anything, all the wholesale, because then you'd have no reason to come down. Look at these, again, carved ivories, well signed on the bottom. I don't know how tall they are, but they're, you know, they're over a foot high male and female figure in perfect condition. Inside here you've got more ivory, carved ivories, antique ivories, <sighs> Dalton jugs, Royal Crown Derby pieces. There's a Lalique piece in there. There's, are not, um, yeah, that is what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, Dresden figures, flambe. Behind me we've got a Bruno Cote painting. I don't know if the video does it justice, but it is a spectacular piece if you're a little bit further away from it. Again, more Dalton pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six piece Royal Dalton uh, bathroom set. His and hers pots. I guess nowadays it's his and hers coffee mugs. Nouveau lamp here, this is a favorite. It does need to be rewired so we haven't plugged it in. But very, very neat piece with the globe there. Can't show you all of it. Again, it's just too much. There's Wedgwood, there's uh, Galley. There's pewter, there's cranberry, there's mission style lamps. This is a fun piece here. All four bottles in there, obviously the original basket galley. Each one of these is personalized. So you got B, C, looks like I, W, S, W. I never got a chance to research what that means, but these are a Dalton Lambeth set and the little crew of sorts. Royal Ducks, Roseville Pottery, vintage Roseville Pottery. Gingerbread clocks, cloisonne, Bronzes again, uh, vintage porcelains, two or three Aperns in the sale. There's cast banks, antique banks, modern potteries, vintage potteries, uh, 
Um, it just seems to go on and on. More clocks, more door stops. We've had some door stops over the last little while. There's more of them. We won't show you the last the aisle. There's, there's more stuff going on over there. I'm not sure what I've forgotten to tell you. I'll try to recap. October 13th, 9 o'clock in the morning we start, or we open, 10 o'clock we start. That's on the Monday, the holiday Monday. The 10th, which is a Friday, from 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock is the viewing. Come down, have a look. Take a look at the website, wardsauctions.com. You can do online bidding. Follow the links at wardsauctions.com. Phone the office, 780-451-4549. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on Friday.